Hi, in today's video, we will learn how to find area of geometrical figures where they are not exactly lying on the grid properly. Like in this case, if I call this triangle as A, B and C, all the points A, B and C are lying on the junction point of the grid, but none of the lines are either on the horizontal line of the grid or on the vertical line of the grid. Right? So in this case, finding the dimensions of the base and height becomes very difficult. So I'm going to do one smart thing. I'm going to inscribe this triangle into a rectangle. And now let's see how it looks like. So this is the new figure in which I have inscribed that triangle into a rectangle. We can very easily find the dimensions of the rectangle using this grid. Right? So what are the dimensions of the rectangle? Dimensions of the rectangle are, it has length 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. If we talk about rectangle, it has length as 8 units, right? And what about breadth? Breadth it has 4 units, right? So the rectangle in which I have inscribed that triangle has the length as 8 units and breadth as 4 units. Now you must be wondering, originally we were supposed to find the area of a triangle, but why are we talking about the dimensions of the rectangle? We can easily find the area of this rectangle and if we remove these areas, this triangle, this triangle and this triangle, from the area of the rectangle, we will be left with our original triangle, right? So in this method, we are indirectly finding the area of the triangle. And why are we doing that? We are doing that because in this particular case, we are not able to find any of the dimensions of the original triangle. So we have inscribed that triangle into a rectangle. Then we can find the area of the rectangle and remove all these right angle triangles from that area and in turn we will find the area of our original triangle right so let's do that so what is the area of the rectangle we know the area of rectangle is length multiplied by breadth so area of rectangle will be length multiplied by breadth which is in this case 8 multiplied by 4 which is 32 square units right and now what we have to do we have to remove the areas of these triangles so I'm calling this as triangle number 1 and this one as triangle number 2 and this one as triangle number 3 and all of us know the formula for the area of the triangle is 1 by 2 base multiplied by height, right? So if we consider triangle 1, what will be the area of triangle 1? The area of triangle 1 will be 1 by 2 base in the case of triangle 1 is 1, 2, 3. So 3 multiplied by height of the triangle which is 4. This much is the height and this much is the base. Right? So multiplied by 4. So what is the area of triangle 1? The area of triangle 1 will be if we divide this 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 6 square units. Right? And what will be the area of triangle 2? Area of triangle 2 will be 1 by 2 if we call this as base this much as base it is 2 units so multiplied by 2 and this much as height so it is actually 1 2 3 4 5 units right so multiplied by 5 and this 2 will get cancelled by this 2 and the area of triangle 2 is 5 square units, right? And what about the area of triangle 3? 
it will be 1 by 2 base base again is 2 in this case right this much is the base so 1 by 2 multiplied by 2 and height height is this total length which is 8 units right so multiplied by 8 again this 2 will cancel this 2 and the area of triangle 3 will be 8 square units right so what are the areas of these triangles area of triangle 1 we have found as 6 square units right and of triangle 2 is 5 square units and triangle 3 is 8 square units right and what was the area of the rectangle the area of the rectangle we found was 32 square units right and if we remove this 6 square units 5 square units and 8 square units from the area of the rectangle which is 32 square units we will get the area of our original triangle isn't it so let's do that so area of triangle a b c will be area of rectangle minus area of triangle 1 right minus area of triangle 2 and minus area of triangle 3 right so what is the area of rectangle area of rectangle which we have found was 32 units area of triangle 1 is 6 units area of triangle 2 is 5 units and area of triangle 3 is 8 units right which is equal to 32 minus 8 plus 5 is 13 plus 6 is 19 so this will be equal to 13 32 minus 19 is 13 so the area of triangle ABC which I am going to write over here is 13 square units so this is the area of the triangle ABC